Why do ghost hunters say they feel cold? Because they're going, whatever the ghost is doing is going to perform an outcome. That outcome could be slamming a door, making a voice, touching you, stroking your hair, pulling your shirt, uh, giving you a shove, any number of things. Whatever it has chosen to do, it has to pull that energy together. Okay. And then once it's done it, whether you're in the room or not, maybe you are in a room and the ghost is doing this and it gets hot and you guys leave, you know, everybody leaves, and then the outcome is still in that room. So say a door slammed. Okay, you will hear it, but you're not there to see it. And then what you'll feel is the cold spot because the air has suddenly grown cold because of whatever the outcome was, it performed its outcome. And that's why they say you can actually feel where the um, cold spot is. You can feel, you know, that it's this high or this low or whatever. You know, you can feel it in the air. And that's where that comes from. That's where that... <laughs> that's where that comes from. That just fell off the case, right? Sure. <laughs>